Hey guys, Andy here, and today on Andy Talks Japan, I'm going to be talking to you about should you be worried about studying abroad in Tokyo. So, as you guys know, if you've been following the news at the time of this recording, there is、uh, <clears throat> something going around、uh, Southeast Asia, and it's been found in other parts of the world. And、uh, yeah, so for the purposes of this video, I will not be naming it by its actual name, so we'll just call it. Uh, Kelowna Chan, we'll say. So,、um, Kelowna Chan has been found in、uh, China, South Korea, and Japan. In fact, there was a whole party hosted by Kelowna Chan, and、uh, it was on a cruise ship that was docked out in Yokohama. And again, I'll let you fill in the blanks. So, <laughs> anyway. Yeah, so because of、uh, Kelowna Chan hosting little parties here and there around the world,、uh, there's a lot of concern about whether you should、uh, study abroad or even travel abroad right now. And、uh, again, just to establish some context, I'm just a study abroad student out here in Tokyo,、I'm、not a disease control specialist. I don't even play on the internet, so please, by all means, do your research, go to credible news sources to learn. More about things, but this is just from my own personal perspective. So, from my perspective,、um, it is really hard to find masks these days, especially the ones that help block out、um, Kelowna Chan. And、uh, it's also extremely hard to find hand sanitizer. They call it、uh, alcohol gel. <clears throat> so, if you're looking for it、uh, out and about in town,、um, call it like alcohol gel. Or alcohol hand gel, or it has certain brands.、Um, Topeka is the most popular one. It's the one with like the little、um, raccoon on it, showing its hands. That's the most popular brand.、Um, and I think they got like Purell and stuff out here too. It's it's hard saying right now because、uh, you know it's all sold out pretty much everywhere. And if you try to buy it online at Amazon Japan,、um, they're <laughs> you're getting robbed. Royally, because they're marking up the prices like crazy. But in any event, as far as like general health safety and stuff like that,、um, just from my own experience,、um, I haven't really seen anything too out of the ordinary out here.、Um, there are a lot more people wearing masks. That's definitely a thing,、um, and that's about it, really. But really, like during the winter time, that's usually.、Um, <clears throat> Like flu season, so it's kind of common, and it's just common in general for Japanese people to be wearing masks anyway. So, for me, I don't really notice anything too different.、Um, there have been like some closures of events and things like that. You know, not just you know out and about in Tokyo, but also on campus as well. But、uh, as far as regular day to day life, nothing really all that different.、Um, but what we're <laughs> What I would recommend you do if you do decide to come out here to Japan or just anywhere in general, <laughs> some general rules:、uh, be sure to wash your hands on a frequent basis. Try not to touch your face.、Um, that's a big habit for me. That's why I carry the、uh, hand sanitizer. <laughs> I have a bad habit of、uh, touching my face. If you do decide to touch your face, use the back hand, not your,、uh, you know, front palm. I guess you could say. And、uh, yeah. Wash your hands. Use hand sanitizer. They have alcohol wipes as well. They also have like an alcoholic、uh, like spritz, like a mist sort of thing. Be sure to use that as well.、Um, and just、uh, you know, use common sense.、Uh, wear a mask if you can find them.、Um, there's also like a huge article about what masks to wear and what masks block what. Be sure to、uh, do your research.、Um, again, do your research. <laughs> But you know, just general common sense stuff. Um, now, as far as、uh, other reasons why you might be afraid of studying abroad in Tokyo, whether it's cultural, language-wise, money-wise,、um, whatever the case may be,、um, in those cases, you know, my philosophy is where there's a will, there's a way. So, if you're worried about not fitting in <laughs> the Japanese culture and the Japanese way of doing things. Um, you know, it's definitely a big worry for a lot of Americans as well, because they think you know Japanese culture is so different, and 
you know, you stick out like a sore thumb and you'll get a lot of stares and all those kinds of stuff. And don't get me wrong, that does happen. Even out here in Tokyo, I do get stared at sometimes, but eh, it's kind of whatever. <laughs> I don't, I don't mind it too much actually. Um, but you know, uh, a little bit of research will do you good. So if you worry about like language and stuff, there's plenty of, uh, information out there, both paid and for free. Um, so you can definitely study up, at least study the basics. You don't have to be, uh, Jozu at the Nihongo, uh, just to order a cheeseburger out here or whatever. Um, yeah, just, uh, study up a little bit, study kind of the basics and, uh, you'll be fine. You know, I gotta say, little sumimasen goes a long way, I gotta say. <laughs> hey, that rhymes. I just saw that. Um, but as far as, like, money concerns, um, and I talked about this in my previous video, how much should I save up for to study abroad? If you haven't watched that yet, be sure to check it out. But uh, if your concerns are financial related. Um, again, where there's a will, there's a way. So research on cheap accommodations, that would be number one that's going to be your number one expense. Um, try to find them fairly close to where you're going to be studying at, working, whatever the case may be. So that way you can cut down on your train fare. Or if you have enough saved up, you can just get yourself a Jitencha bicycle and just bike back and forth to work slash school. And it'll save you a lot of months. And it'll help uh, shrink the old stomach up. So if you're fixing to lose a couple uh, LBs or uh, KGs out here in Japan, uh, that's a pretty easy way to do it. So yeah, again, there's a will is a way. Um, if you're looking to cut back on other things, uh, there's a lot of really cheap eats out here. I want to really do a video on that, uh, especially. Um, even if you go to like foreign restaurants, you can get just a cheap meal that'll fill you up. Uh, you can get like convenient bentos and you can get stuff at the grocery store and cook at your place if uh, you have the means to do it. Uh, some guest houses, like mine, it's kind of hard to get yourself in the kitchen or store food and stuff like that. So, you know, it's all very situational. But again, where there's a will, there's a way. And uh, as Marie Forleo once said, everything is figure outable. So just uh, do your research and uh, proceed from there. So, with that said, guys, this is Andy Son. So, for now, as always, we'll see you next time. Catch you later, guys. Bye. And if you guys have any questions about studying abroad in Tokyo, be sure to leave them in the comments down below in the booby de boops and I will do my best to answer them. And they could be in the next video, too. So, <laughs> sure, leave me a little something, something down there. All right. Bye, guys.